For military applications, the barrier is a hollow plastic molded unit which is easily transportable. Light enough to be moved by individual personnel, the barrier weighs approximately 70 kilograms. The following series of live fire tests will demonstrate the barrier's ability to stop small arms fire penetrating through to the reverse side. The tests are being supervised by the British Army's Royal Engineers Export Support Team. The barrier can be filled with a variety of materials. In this series of tests, sand is being used. Three types of weapon were fired at the barrier. Firstly, the general purpose machine gun using 7.62 mm belted tracer ammunition at a range of 100 meters with a muzzle velocity of 538 meters per second. The reason this weapon was chosen is because it is the same caliber as the famous but less powerful Klashnikov AK-47. Secondly, the Lee Enfield L85 using 5.56 mm ammunition at a range of 100 meters and 50 meters with a muzzle velocity of 940 meters per second. Finally, the 9 mm Browning pistol. This was fired at a range of 50 meters and 10 meters with a muzzle velocity of 354 meters per second. Live fire testing began with the GPMG 7.62 mm belted tracer from a range of 100 meters. With stage one complete, the barrier was inspected by the Royal Engineers Export Support Team. As you can see, the entry holes were smaller than the 7.62 mm rounds that were fired due to the plastic closing slightly after entry. No exit holes were found. Live fire testing continued on all three defence barriers using 7.62mm belted tracer ammunition. At no time did the rounds penetrate through to the reverse side. Put my hand is here, that's five rounds in the group in there. In the group which well, have, have not come through. The second series of tests were carried out using the Lee Enfield L85 rifle using 5.56mm ammunition at an initial range of 100 metres. The strike area was carefully examined. Again, no exit holes were found. After advancing to a range of 50 metres, the second test using the 5.56mm ammunition was carried out. Upon close inspection, it was discovered that even with a tight grouping and overlapping entry holes, there was no leakage of the internal contents of the defence barrier. Even at this close range, the barrier had not lost its integrity. The live fire testing continued using the 9mm Browning pistol from an initial range of 50 metres. Again, upon closer examination, there were no exit holes present. The final test using the 9mm Browning pistol was fired from 10 metres. Examination revealed that the barrier can stop rounds penetrating the reverse side, even at close quarters. The various tests carried out have shown that the defence barrier has the power to stop a range of ordnance, including 7.62, 5.56 and 9mm ammunition, without any fragmentation, ricochet, crack, crazing or splitting. The defence barrier has clearly demonstrated its ability to stop small arms fire, even at close range. Further live fire testing involved detonation of a 155mm artillery shell at a distance of 600mm from the front face of the barrier. Fragmentation from the shell pierced the front face on both barriers with no penetration through to the reverse side. The barriers moved laterally due to the blast, however they were not secured to the ground using the integrated securing mechanisms due to range restrictions. As the photograph shows, even with the lateral movement, no shrapnel penetrated through to the reverse side of the barrier. This exercise shows the versatility of the barriers being deployed in a vehicle checkpoint and blast wall search area. The barriers are easily transported to their location on a standard NATO 10 by 20 foot drop rack. Up to 24 barriers can be loaded and moved easily. Once arriving at the location, the barriers are quickly deployed into their predetermined positions and then filled using a variety of materials.
With each filled barrier weighing 3.2 tons, the integrated securing mechanisms can be used to increase the factor of safety, thus providing a high level of protection for security personnel and public alike. The vehicle search area provides protection against improvised explosive and proxy device damage to personnel and property outside the defence barrier. It also provides cover and protection from incoming hostile fire to personnel inside the search area. I have to inform you, you are now entering a military vehicle checkpoint. What I want you to do is pull forward past the chicane, stop in the vehicle search area and switch off your engine. Do you understand? Yeah, OK. Move on forward, sir. Uh, driving licence, please. Thank you. Thank you. All the trials supervised by the Royal Engineers Export Support Team have clearly shown that the defence barrier effectively maintained its integrity in a number of different roles. It provides protection against flood damage, small arms fire and bomb blast. It can be deployed in a number of scenarios proving its multifunctionality and versatility. Aqua Barrier International Limited Defence Barrier, when deployed correctly, can cost-effectively provide an alternative solution to protect lives and property, both nationally and internationally.